Hey gang, Scott here. Welcome to Impost. Thanks for joining me. I'm processing a photo from Perea View. I shared this location with you earlier this week on In the Field. A wonderful, wonderful sunset out in Bryce Canyon. And the thing I want to talk about in this post video is something I've needed to do a lot of with the photos I have from Bryce. It's you know, dealing with very uh, contrasty situations where you have a uh, deep yeah, shadows and very bright highlights and you're working with something like snow and wanting that to be you know a little crisper a little whiter where um, you have these very orange rocks and you have this very blue toned area so uh, let me uh, just hit the uh, the backslash key here for a moment so you can see you know the original that came out of camera I've done some work on it looks in my mind a lot better but in particular I want to show you the masks because this is after just the basics being done and notice how blue the right side of the photo is the parts that are in shadow that uh, that snow has got a very strong blue cast a clear blue sky so there's lots of blue in those shadows how did I go about you know getting those things uh, brought back into something that was a little more pleasing to the eye it wasn't as uh, color casted and in particular brightening the snow in that blue out of the snow you can see I've got two adjustments here the first one let's take a look at this one Reducing the blue, it is really just a temperature adjustment. There's a linear gradient right there, and then subtracting the sky because I didn't want the sky to be uh, getting uh, getting uh, deblued. So you know, redoing those steps, it was linear gradient. You know, drag that over something like this, and take some of that blue out. You know, so I'll push it really far. You can see everything's getting nice and warm, but then just subtracting the sky couple of clicks and you've got that mask and you know it looks complex but it is quite simple to build because of these uh, these nice little features we have in the masking let's look at the other one I'll uh, remove that one delete mask one and I'll turn back on my reduced blue the snow before and after you can see you know, a very strong change there in the snow how was this done a little more complicated linear gradient again luminance range mask and intersection a color range mask in the intersection which you might not have expected and then a little more gradient work uh, to uh, this was to limit things on the on the top part of the photo right there so uh, let's build that up from the ground up here so let's uh, let's hide that one and we'll make a new one here linear gradient so same thing again I'm kind of dragging this all over this section here and my goal is to brighten the snow intersect this with a luminance range mask and I'm picking on one of the snow areas right there and I'll adjust my range mask so I can get you know the maximum amount of that snow but I'm getting too much in the background there up toward the top of the photo here up in this area here that's too much and also I'm getting the other you know, red rocks here now this is where you might think of just using subtract and taking away an object you could subtract an object that would work as well I chose to double down on the intersection and intersected this mask so these two things intersected again with color range and I just chose that same snow tone like right uh, let's choose right here and notice now the sum total of my mask it has really eliminated most things from that subject and if I turn off the overlay here you can see that there is still some shadow out in here and so when I do this uh, little brightening of the snow and so forth it may be okay to have those little bits and pieces brightened as well uh, the last thing was a straight subtract the sky's not going to do enough the sky's already uh, deselected so just another gradient to say you know uh, let's just tone down what's happening up at the top of that photo so really just a couple of simple gradients and then leveraging the range masks and now I can say brighten the snow I'm gonna push that really far you can see it goes like you know almost nuclear I can brighten that snow and I can desaturate it so I'm taking that bluish tone out of it and leveraging some intersections and some masks and uh, I talked about intersecting masks and how those uh, those work and operate in another video I'll leave a link in the show notes for you but uh, I just thought I'd share a couple of these things where I'm having to work with these uh, these targeted masks but uh, leveraging range masks in particular to uh, to be able to do these more complex masking operations 
with fewer clicks. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions? Drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.